Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I was thinking about something I heard the other night. I was listening to this woman talk about how things weren't as good as people said they were and how people didn't care and life wasn't worth it and 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 you're on your own in life and there's no need in trying because you're somebody's always going to be there to knock you down and she had all these reasons why she should not try i was listening to this on youtube listen you guys i want to share something with you you know how the bible says have an answer for those that ask you why do you believe you may ask me why I serve the Lord. All right. Well, listen. When you think about this person, like many, many, many in this world, who will tell you there is no God, there is no need to believe, there is nothing to believe in, there is no this, there is no that, there is no the other. Let me tell you. Before you get caught up in all that hick, hoogwa, hogwash, think about this. If I were to come into your yard and you got roses all in your yard, I mean, they are beautiful roses and you take such good care of them and they are vibrant and fully blossomed, I mean, just beautiful. Not one leaf on the bush is dry and withered. Not one. Yeah. Listen. Can you imagine the weeds? I'm over here in the weeds. Tell me. Oh, those rose bushes ain't about nothing. She doesn't care about those rose bushes. She doesn't water them. She doesn't do nothing. She just, she just treats them like crap. I'm looking at the rose bush. I'm looking at the beauty, at the vibrance, at the great health. They can't take care of themselves. Somebody's taking care of them. But the weeds are down there on the ground fussing because they're jealous and they're mad at the rose bushes. I'm making an analogy, you know, me and my allegory, so ride with me in this one. They're jealous of the roses now. Because the roses are so beautiful, so colorful, the fragrance. Oh, I'm telling you. And they're growing like, oh, they're just growing like wildfire. Oh, they're just doing beautifully. And that lady just dotes over, the, over those little rose bushes. She loves them to death. Well, listen, am I going to pay attention to the weeds? Are you going to pay attention to the weeds? Because they come up with all these all these different reasonings and analogies as to how these rose bushes really ain't about nothing and and the owner that takes care of them is not taking care of them and you know you're not going to listen why? Because the evidence is right before your face. Well, I ask you. I am not a rose, I know that. And I'm old and I know that. Okay. I'm on the other half going the downward way down to the grave. <laughs> but listen, when you look at me, what do you see? Look at the evidence. The confidence that is in my face. The, the joy that you see in my heart. I may be battling a physical thing, baby, but I know where my, I know what side my of my bread my butter's on. I know who butters my bread. The joy you see in me, the peace you see in my disposition. That comes from God, baby. The love that's in my heart came from a supernatural encounter with God coming into my living room. That wasn't something imaginary. I wasn't high off a of weed. I wasn't sniffing, snorting, or toting. 
or shooting. God came into my living room. A galactic presence, majestic yet tender, quiet, peaceful. Love booming all in my house, engulfing me, enveloping me, filling me. Flooding my soul. And for the first time in my life, the need to be loved. That that one love that no human being can scratch. I don't care how much your parents love you. No human being can scratch that itch, baby. Finally was getting the scratching it's been longing for all my life. God revealed himself to me. Now, as Andre Crouch sings, you may ask me why I serve the Lord. Is it just for heaven's gain? Just to walk the mighty streets of gold? Or to hear the angels sing? No, that's not why I gave my heart to the Lord. Because when I gave my heart to the Lord, Dum Dum didn't even believe in heaven or hell. I do now, but I didn't then. I wanted to get out of the hell that was in me. So you can argue and make fun and mock and, 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 and downplay all you want. That there is no God and, and, and all that stuff, all that religion is nothing to it. Let me tell you something, baby cakes. Oh, yes, it is. If there is never a heaven, if I die and that's the end of it. My whole life, everything I've given up, everything I have... I have yielded to God. It's worth just having the Lord in my life. Living in a world of darkness. God brought me light. He lit up my soul. He screwed my head on right. He made me whole by healing all those wounds and filling the holes in my soul. He silenced the turmoil. He blew away the torment. He filled the emptiness. So for those of you who want to argue there is no God and you want to come up with all kind of scientific data, guess what, baby? Don't knock them till you tried them. I tried them when I wasn't even sure he, whether he was real or not. I tried him. And yes, he's real. <laughs> if heaven, the song says this, if heaven never was promised to me, Neither God's promise to live eternally. It's been worth just having the Lord in my life. Living in a world of darkness, he brought me the light. I'm telling you, you guys, if for no other reason than to finally receive the love you've longed for, to finally enjoy the peace that is not a fairy tale, but has always been out of your reach. If only to get rid of all the hurts and the agony from the past, crimes against you, shameful moments that you hope no one ever knows about, insecurities, self-hatred, fears, phobias, anxieties, if nothing else but to get rid of all that poison. It's worth having the Lord in my life. God loves me. Now you may not have had that experience and I'm sorry for you, but you can if you pursue him. Because God says in his word, Seek him, and you will find him. You will find him when you seek him with all your heart. 
He will manifest himself to you like he did me in so many ways. Supernatural protection. Supernatural healings. I've had many. He's healing me now even though I'm battling. But I'm being healed because I'm a whole lot better now than I was in September of 2016. I'm telling you, God is worth having in your life. I mean, I could look up and say, Lord, you could take me now. I'm ready to go. And I'm not afraid of death. I love my father and I trust him. I trust him in life. And I trust him in death. I just want to be healthy while I'm here, that's all. But God's love has kept me. God's love has secured me. So I say this to you. When in doubt, try him out. God bless you.